how to use PowerPoint. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use PowerPoint. So a lot of people have currently underestimated PowerPoint because we all know the hype around the largest competitor PowerPoint currently has in terms of presentations and that is Canva. But PowerPoint has a lot of different sturdy and strong tools, which if you know how to use them can actually yield you better videos and better presentations than Canva. So let's get started and let's take a look at PowerPoint. To get started, simply go on ahead, open up PowerPoint. Now, when you open up PowerPoint, first off, you have your theme section and you can click on more themes to explore some pre-built templates on PowerPoint. Now, this is the main difference you're going to find in terms of actual features when it comes to PowerPoint versus using Canva because PowerPoint does not have this large gallery of templates that are fully customized with like pretty little illustrations. However, PowerPoint does give you a clean slate which allows you to customize in accordance to your own preferences. Now, when you are using PowerPoint, you might want to go with a template, but for me, I want to go with a blank presentation. You can explore any of your open presentations here. Then you can also go into recent to see any of your recent presentations and your home tab will have your recent presentations on the bottom. I'm going to click on blank presentation and this will open up a blank slate. Now on the top, it's going to display your presentation title. When you click on this, you can rename your presentation. So I'm going to rename my presentation as sample one and I'm going to go with on my Mac and I'm going to save it in my download section as sample one. Now, when you do this, you will see two text box appear directly on your first slide. You can click on these to start typing in your title, or if you do not want these text boxes, you can also remove them. I'm going to type in my title. Let's say this is going to be the history of psychology. Let's go with that instead. And then a subtitle. And then in my subtitle, I'm going to write the main chapter. So let's say it's going to be from Freud to Gestalt. From, yeah, let's just do that like this. Now, once you do that, you will see your text boxes are pretty large and you have this font selected. So if you click on any text box and click on the font on the top left, you can select any font of your choice. You have a large directory of fonts available, so you can really pick out whatever you prefer. If you want to change only one word, you can just select the word. But if you want to change the entire text block, just click on the block on the top, then click on the font and you can change the entire font style for that section. Then you can use these arrows to reduce the font size as well as reduce the area that this occupies. But I'm just going to click on the entire box over here, click on the font size and reduce it like so. Now I want to increase a bit, so I'm going to go a bit larger and then I can hold this. And once I do that, I can format the shape, but I don't need to format shapes here. I'm just going to center this and you even have shape options, but this is just a text box, so it really does not matter. And then I'm going to select the content at the bottom and then I want to change the font style for this as well. Once I do that, I'm going to again do this for the entire section. Now this is just a blank slide, so it looks pretty boring. For our slide, we can change by clicking on layouts on the top where we have different styles of layouts. And if you click on title and content, this is a pre-made slide, so I'm going to click on new slide and you choose the type of theme you want. You can actually see some different, you know, bits of content you can add if you want to use 3D models, if you want to add a video, if you want to use a chart or a table, if you want to use columns, if you want to be using stock images, if you want to be using icons, if you want to be using images. So you have a large directory of options. I'm going to delete this and we're going to go back into our first slide and we're going to elevate this slide. So the first step in elevating our slide is going to be to add some type of background. For that, you can click on picture or shapes on the right. You can even see on the top you have a separate section for insert where you can insert different styles of shapes, icons, smart art, charts, and more. Now you can click on draw to draw something. And you can even click on the design option to choose a certain color scheme. So if you want, you can click on format background and you will see different fill options. You have a gradient fill, picture fill, pattern fill. I want to use a gradient and I'm going to choose a radial gradient, rectangular, path, shade from title. I don't like this. I'm going to go with something that's a bit radial. I think radial looks the best. 
Then we have our gradient stops. This really allows you to customize the colors that you want. So on one hand, I'm going to put in white, or let's say I want my gradient to be from pink to blue. So I'm gonna click on more colors, and I'm going to add one pastel pink over here. Click on OK. Then on my second gradient stop, I'm going to choose more colors and I'm going to yeah move towards blue a bit. Again, I'm going to go with like a very close to pink, gray blue and I'm going to go with the second and I'm going to move this gradient stop a bit over here. I want my pink to be a bit more nicer. Then I'm going to go into more colors, maybe make the blues a little vibrant. I'm going to make this blue a bit more vibrant as well. I'm going to click on this, more colors, and I'm just going to go into the pink area a bit like this. Click on OK, then go with this blue. And you can add as many stops as you want. You can add as many colors as you, as you want. You can build your entire rainbow here. Personally, I think I just might end up building my rainbow, but I think this looks fine now. And you can just use the same template over and over again. You have transitions, animations, slideshows, recording your slideshow so you can basically create a video, and reviews and views. So once we've created our basic template, we can just copy the slide and enter new content in the next. But we're going to click on new slide and I'm going to show you guys how you can do some other things. So first off, we're going to delete these and we're going to add a image. We're going to click on picture and we're going to add this from a file or from a stock photo. I'm just gonna go for stock images and you have stock images on PowerPoint. A lot of people don't even know that. So we're gonna do this and we're gonna search for psychology. We're just gonna search for study and we're just going to be using this one over here. Click on insert and we're just going to open this up like this and add it as a background. So you can click on this we can click on animate as a background and you can guide your animation pathway like so. Click on apply and your image will be animated. When you view this in your slideshow, you will actually see the animation of the image in the form of movement. This works better with smaller images when they're moving around. Now in this, I am going to click on over here and I'm just going to use this as my background. So let's just place it like so crop this out like so and now i can add the rest of my content by clicking on insert and i can insert anything i want including icons or shapes but i want to add some transparency first because this image is too vibrant so i can click on the image click on transparency and i'm going to make it you know semi-translucent like this so it's not as visible then i can click on insert let's say i want to insert a two by two table so i can do that once I add my table, I will have different table options on the top and I can choose to customize these however I want, including their shadings, borders, effects, and different line styles. You can even erase or add data as you want and draw tables of larger sizes. And just like that, you can get started with using PowerPoint. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.